What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I just dropped my car off not too long ago. Hopefully it gets fixed, and hopefully it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg, because sadly, even though I am rich in personality and energy and stuff like that, I'm not rich where technically speaking counts, because money means everything. And without enough money, then you might as well up, because nobody's going to listen to you. Yeah, I said the day. So it's like, I hope it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg, but if it does, well, I hope I have the arm and the leg to give. So, uh, story, stories. I got a story about a deer out in the place that I work at. I got a story about a kid that's got phenomenal potential, but if he lets his ego drive him, then he's just going to go straight to the ground. So I'm going to tell you about the kid first, and I'll tell you about the average story, okay? So, as it typically goes, my friend and I, and the name is going to switch because, I don't know, but know that these are the same people when I say Junior, when I say Johnny Boy, and what else do we call him? I guess typically Junior or Johnny Boy, but like, Junior and I, we went out to play soccer because, well, shit, I love soccer, and honestly, he likes to get out of the house, so the fact of the matter is, it happens to go perfectly hand in hand because he wants to leave and I want to kick the ball around with somebody, and it's very hard to find people to continuously stay active with you. Like, one thing that I've learned is people, uh, so I met this kid. Cool and cocky as can be, honestly, kind of reminds me of a little me. Like, when I used to think winning was everything. But honestly, a true winner learns to lose, too. Because you can't always win. Because what are you winning if you're losing friends? I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> kid's bright. And um, the way it happened is Junior and I just, you know, we go out for soccer games. And, um... Uh, because we kick so hard, and the fact that we kick hard, and I try to tell him, hey, calm it down. You don't do it. And sometimes even I don't do it. So, to um, <clears throat> prevent a lawsuit, I decide to think of, ooh, there's open spots where there's a bunch of fields to kick the ball as hard as we possibly want. And the only thing we're going to kill is our energy. Like, there is nothing we're going to hit for as hard as we can hit the ball. So, it's like... That's a lot smarter than trying to not hit a bunch of trailers, cars, and lots of windows, glasses, blah, 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 blah. So, like, went down to a nice open field, just a bunch of grass and trees, that's it. And we started playing soccer, and these, and uh, on the way there, Junior actually ran to one of his friends, and I just invited him to come play, because we're the flip not more than married, it's always my dream to have a big old soccer game. I, I just love soccer. Shoot me. So... His friend ended up coming to play after Junior and I get there. I realized we don't have any water, so we run up Speedway, come back, and go play. And then I get there, and I realize I have to piss, so we don't even start playing. I run out to the woods, which takes me about a good minute, because them bitches, woo! The woods about 200 meters from where we're standing. I sprinted out there just to piss. By the time I came back, bam, his friend was there. So literally, we started off just three of us passing the ball around. About 15, 20 minutes to start playing, and then... Some other kids start coming out, and this kid, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I tell you what, cocky incarnate, I, cocky incarnate, I don't even know who first cocky is, but like, cocky as in, he's good, but he's always asking if he's good, confidence is you're good, and you know you're good, you ain't asking nobody, and people might tell you you shit, but you're like, Psh. I don't believe any single word you say. What you mean I'm shit? That's how I get all the shit done? Okay. I procrastinate till last minute. Still get the shit done. They need somebody to come in and get shit done? They call me. They need somebody to be reliable? They call me. They need somebody to be cheerful? They call me. They need something serious done? They call me. What you mean? I know what I'm good at. You can't tell me what I'm good at. That is confidence. Cocky's always asking and questioning and then doubting themselves. Like, yeah, I think I'm good. I really... Hey, do you think I'm good? You think I'm good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I hope everybody thinks I'm good. Like, no, shit, I don't know. So, like, <clears throat> eventually I think I was able to teach the kid that there is a difference between cocky and confidence. But, um, I don't know, he's still young, like, <clears throat> he done thought he was going to show me up in my sport. Soccer. That's confidence right there. This is all confidence. You can call it cock if you want to. But, um, it originally started off as a two-on-three. I figured Junior and I, you know, we adults and it's a bunch of kids. Like, I think it ranged from middle schoolers to, like, maybe one high school. I don't know, but they definitely ranged in size and athleticism. Like, that kid 
Mr. Cocky himself. I call him Little Ronaldo at the end because this month he could play soccer for someone that doesn't play soccer. I was pretty damn impressed. I was like, you know what? If I was going to get my ass whooped by any other kids, it would, I, I, I ain't even disappointed it's by you guys. Like, like I'm disappointed that you're so damn cocky, but you ain't know what, what it's like to be confident. But, like, I shut him up in a one-on-one, -on -one, but that's besides the point. Like, the main reason he got most of his goals was because I said no air shots because of the fact, like, I was just thinking Junior and I just blasted over their heads, like, boo, 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 like, nonstop, just slaughter fest, mercy rule. So, I figured no air shots, so I said, like, nothing above, like, five feet, no, I want to say, two to five feet, I want to say, something like that. But he got those nice little air balls that just kept going over and past and Nine times out of ten, I was running the field. And once in a while, Junior would come out and run. But, like, he had one genius idea. Ran in front of all the kids. And I was able to get through. But, like, I tried to use him as an assist so he could get the ball in so he can get the point. But he wasn't getting the point. So it done screwed up. It, like, done hit the back of his heel and it went out. I'm like, mother... Really? Like, genius idea. Great idea. You you allowed me to sneak through these kids. I could have done it without your assistance, but thank you. But you couldn't even assist me in a shot. I literally got all the mother flipping shots. Like, I was the lead scorer. Like, little, little Ronaldo slash Mr. Cocky was the lead scorer of his team. So, like, literally, at the end of the day, it was, like, lead scorer versus lead scorer. I tried to help. Junior didn't even, like, he helped me, but I scored all the shots. I was like, <laughs> bruh. What the? It's like I was playing by myself because he was goalie, so essentially I wasn't playing by myself. But it's like I was playing by myself because I did all the running. So um, it was pretty fun. It was interesting because like I was talking to him and I realized this this kid's got intellect. He's definitely going to go somewhere if he chooses to follow his brain and chooses to calm down with his cockiness. Like if he sits down, if he listens, if he's um aware of the fact that winning isn't everything and winning isn't what it always looks like sometimes winning does look like losing but to lose something could also mean to gain something else like sometimes you gotta go back to go forward sometimes you gotta quit to get something better like i've honestly thought about the fact that i've quit jobs because i'm a good worker I've taken that into consideration. They ain't going to fire me for nothing because I'm such a good person. So they ain't never going to leave me be. It's like if you were in a toxic relationship and you're the good one, like the bad one might leave you. That's just so they can terrorize some other mother flipper. But if you're the real good one, they ain't going to leave you. They ain't going to leave you. You're going to have to be like, <laughs> I'm sick of this punishment. I need to leave. Like you got to take the consideration, the thought for yourself. You got to love yourself and move on and move away from that stupid shit. So I was like, I like what I do, but like, what's it doing to me? How's it helping me move on in my life? And it's just, it wasn't. So I figured, keep moving on, try to figure out what's helping me grow, what's going to make me happy, what's also going to allow me to live the life that I live. And I'm continuously doing that on top of also, you know, losing, I'm also winning because I'm gaining experiences, meeting new people, seeing, uh, seeing, seeing new places. It's just like, what am I really losing aside from time? And that's always a given thing to lose. So what else am I losing? Uh, I figured the time that we spent with the kids was a very, very good time. It's like, I've always thought I would have loved to have somebody like me as a child. Like, literally as a child, I was like, I would want that cool high school college kid. Technically speaking, even though I'm not a college student, I am within the college age range. So, therefore, I don't think I told any of the kids if I went to college or not, but, like, I don't go to college, but at the same time, like, I'm in the college range, it's just, like, I'm exactly who I would have wanted as a child, because literally what we did is Monday we played soccer on that field, and then I want to say Wednesday I went back there, and Junior and I started playing basketball, the kids found us again, and we played a little bit of b-ball yet again, um, <clears throat> a little cocky, he, he's, one of the flippers good at basketball too, like, I would say if I had to compare the sports, I couldn't touch him. In, I couldn't touch him in basketball. I can't deny that. I I can't deny that he was like quickness. We both were killing it, but the fact that I I I know I suck at basketball. I'll admit that. 
Like I first thing to know, I ain't about to be cocky about no basketball. I'm quick on my feet, like every once in a while I get around people, but I ain't good, like shit. Like I was the lead scorer because yet again Junior wasn't helping, but like Junior likes basketball, that's the weird part. I was just like, what the flip, bro? Like I thought you would have been better about at least helping me during basketball, but it's also five twenty one now that I think about it. So, 2020, 2021, mother flipper. So, we were playing basketball, and um, they won yet again. Uh, there wasn't too much teaching. Like I think that's why I finally taught him the difference between cockiness and confidence, and I think he understood that what we were tossing the football. So, that was a two-parter. So, we played basketball. They won. He was, he was good at basketball. I, I can't deny that. He he was out quicking me, out shooting me a little bit, but like he also had a decent team, so he wasn't really good at passing. He was basically Kobe Bryant there. Like he he didn't want to pass the ball. He wanted to shoot a lot, but he didn't want to pass the ball. Um and we were tossing the football around. He eh, I, I don't know how to rate an arm to be honest. Like my arm is absolute shit. Junior's got a fucking rocket. Like if he actually would have focused and I feel like if he would have done decent on getting his grades and, you know, focus on school instead of just being who he was, he could have been a good football star. Like, he had a nice flipping arm. And he, this mother flipper, I at least want to say he was 100 yards out, still almost hitting a kid sitting on a tree. I'm like, not on a tree, but sitting by the tree. I'm like, dude, how the flip are you 100 yards out still sniping kids? He ain't trying to do it on purpose, but I'm like, hey, um... Y'all might want to watch out, and then I keep saying, tone it down, Rocket Armor. If you're going to throw it that fucking hard, take 10 yards back, mother flipper, because he's, he's got a Rocket Armor. I can't deny that. He can throw. He can throw. For as strong as I am, I can't throw for shit. And I know I'm stronger than him, but he can throw. I can't deny that. I think all of them can throw, honestly. Like him, his younger brother, his sister, they, they can throw. So I just think it's part of the athletic ability. Blame her dad for that. So it's like, he, he may have been helpful during football, but we didn't actually do any football. Like, he would have thrown it to me. I was just like, psh, 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 psh. <laughs> yeah, little cocky would have not been able to catch me. Like, he would have thought, but like, no, 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 no. If he was about my height, maybe he could catch me. Because, like, I will admit, he's quick, he's fast. But he's also, like, four foot seven, four foot eight. I don't know. He ain't really that tall. So, like. Once puberty hits and maybe gets to like, I don't know, five ten, six foot, he's gonna be a challenge. But till then, I'm gonna be the king. <laughs> but that's regardless of the point. Like, I think it was a good time, good experiences, good lessons. Hopefully, the kids grow to be smart and forward thinking. Like, I tried to teach them, but like, to be honest, what are you gonna pick up from me? Whatever you choose to. I can tell you one thing, but it's not like you're going to learn it. Like, you just might pick up the fact that I talk with my hands throughout this whole entire video instead of what I was trying to tell you this whole entire video. Because honestly, talk with my hands helps me stutter less. It really does. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed in my videos compared to when I do and don't talk with my hands. But if you do, you'll notice it. But, um, I think that's, uh, that's all I have to say. So, um, adios amigos. I hope you enjoy your day and I hope you spread kindness.